In this fucking video, I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I dislike about Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Let's begin this shit. Starting off, let's go with the goods and then end with the bad. No, 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 fuck that. Let's start with the bad and end with the good. Starting off, let's go with the story mode. I fucking dislike the first half of the story mode. Screenshot from Sony Vegas, fucking pan crop and zoom with camera shake, and maybe some dust and leaves. Fucking lazy shit. I said lazy shit. Screenshots. I wanted to skip that so bad, but I couldn't because I had to watch the fucking. I had to wait for the 3D cutscenes. Like, if you skip the, the 2D cutscenes, right, you skip the whole shit. So I had to wait and sit through that whole entire anime screenshot. Like, I felt so misled through all the story mode trailers. They showed us 3D cutscenes like Storm Free, and then they show us this shit. Why are you hiding this shit? Why are you gonna hide? Why are you gonna lie to me? If you showed us this from the start with 2D screenshots in the trailer, then I would not have been so fucking shocked. Granted, they did mention it a little bit in one of the developers' videos, but it was so small, you just brush it off. So you never really expected to see much 2D screenshots to begin with anyway, so... The anime is bad enough. Making it screenshots is not making it any better, I'm telling you that right now, but... Let's move on. Screenshots is bad. I don't know why they did that, but it's bad. Next thing I don't like is the adventure mode. Oh my god, adventure mode is so doo doo. That's why I have that's why I have not shown any adventure mode gameplay on my channel. Fucking walk around the map, doo doo ass map, do what? Chores, like fetch quests, do this, do that, pick this shit up, capture this shit, do these these side battles that, that you've done in the previous stories. It's so boring. You can't even jump in this bitch. You can only run. Walk wait, walk and run. That's all you can do. Walk and run. Pick up shit, smash boxes. And that's it. And what do you get out of it? What do you get for doing that shit? What do you get for doing... What do you get for grinding on adventure mode? Jack shit. You don't get no new characters. No new friends. No, no new. You may as well skip that whole shit. Story mode. Uh, screenshots. I hate it. Adventure mode. Whole thing is shitty. Now, the last part of this game that I don't like is... Stuff that they have changed in the online mode. For example, no spectating. I repeat, no spectating in Endless. Why the fuck is it Endless? Why the fuck is it endless if you cannot even fucking spectate? That don't make no goddamn sense. Almost every single game that has endless mode has a spectate. There are reasons for you to spectate. Not just so you can not stare at a fucking blank menu all day, but it's to also learn what your opponent's gonna do so you can be ready for him the next match. But no, 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 no. You wanna remove the whole shit so we can just stare at the fucking names. That shit is so fucking boring. Not to mention you can only have four players now in Endless. Fucking four! Not eight, four! If anything, it should be more than fucking eight. Sixteen. Four. It's supposed to be King of the Hill, not King of the Steps. Why? And that also applies to the new tournament system as well. Why? And you know how you know how Revolution, right? They had no spectating in the tournament, right? They made it even worse. Before in Revolution, you could spectate, but that's only once you've gone to the next match and if you lost. Here, however. It doesn't matter what happens, you, you are not spectating any match at all whatsoever in any tournaments for Storm 4. So, no spectating at all! No, no spectating in Storm 4! Bruh, that, that is fucking sad. And there is currently a petition out right now that you can sign to, you know, try to get Cybernetic 2 to look into things. But, uh, yo, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but hopefully it does. It doesn't hurt to try. I'll have a link in the description for that. Let's try to get that through, but... that That's pretty much the only things I hate about this game. The fucking screenshots in the story mode, doo-doo, adventure mode, shitty, and the no spectating in online mode, which is the core, which is the core for me, because because online is a main thing for me, and I'm not gonna really gonna be paying attention to story mode much, because once you finish story mode, you're done. Online, however, that's where the, that's where the meat is. That's where you replay the game throughout the year, right? So, spectating, for me, plays a big part. Okay, now that we got the shitty stuff out of the way, let's go to the meat, the stuff I like. Now, there's not much I like, but what I like makes up for the losses, I guess. I guess you could say it's outweighing the cons. So, I love the battle system for Naruto Storm 4. It, I think it's the best battle system that I've ever played in any Storm game. The tag team feels like it was made to be in there. It, it is so good. It makes me never want to play any of the previous Storm games ever again. I don't know what took them so long. I feel like this should have been in the game since day one, but whatever. 
linking up combos with your team, switching, instantly switching. It, it is so smooth. It makes it fresh. The small, just, it, just tag team alone makes this game feel more fresh. If you don't use tag team in this game, you're not going to feel the difference much in terms of the battle system. So... What else is there? You have new rounds. You have rounds now in this game. I like that. It lets you have a comeback. Unlike in Revolution, the only way you can get a comeback in Revolution was through the fucking broken counter. But in this, you can actually make a comeback with some actual fucking skill instead of just holding block and square. Now, speaking of counters, let me quickly touch up on this. Now, I like it to some extent, but then again, I feel like they didn't really finish this new counter system because I feel like they could have done a little more to make it more fluid. Like, when you get countered right, once you get pushed back onto the floor, there is no rollback to quickly recover again. You're on the floor and you have to wait and then get up again, which kind of slows down the game. So I wish they just let you get countered, push back, and once you're on the floor, you can tap X and roll back up like what most attacks do when they push you back. Now, the reason why I didn't put this in my dislikes is overall, I feel like the counter is good enough. It's not annoying. That's why it's not in my dislikes. So tag team, the counters, the overall speed of the game is pretty fast paced. I like that. For the majority of free battle and online gameplay, it is smooth and snappy. Now, yes, the game is at 30 frames per second. However, I never felt that it dipped below 30 unless I'm playing the story mode. Now, if it was an issue, I would have put that in my dislikes. But there was only a few times where it felt like there were frame drops in the story mode. So I gave it a pass. Yes, it could have been better as 60 frames per second, but it's not making the game feel broken at 30, if that makes sense. So as long as it's a stable 30 frames per second, for the most part, like it has been so far in Free Battle and Online, it's not really an issue. The armor break is a nice touch. The game feels a little more balanced. Note I said a little more balanced, not balanced. So there is still a few issues with balancing and characters, but to me so far, it don't feel as bad as the previous installments. So the graphics are amazing, of course. It's CyberConnect 2. They always do a good job in the presentation. The new maps I like. <laughs> That's, that's something new. You don't normally get new maps from a Storm game, but finally we have some new maps. Let's see what else here. You also have the nature manipulation with the elements changing depending on the battlefield. That is a nice touch. However, you can turn the option off or on depending on what you like. It's pretty cool, I guess, but that's pretty much it for what I like in the battle system. And for outside of that, I would say the boss battles and the actual 3D cutscenes, the in-game 3D cutscenes, they are nice. Much better than the anime, of course. As for the boss battles, they are fun. Not the best, not revolutionary, but it's still fun to play, especially the last boss battle. It really hits home with the feels and the nostalgia. Now, I only wish that they did that from the start to the end, replacing all screenshots with actual in-game 3D cutscenes. That would have been much, much better. Now, these pros that I mentioned might not seem like a lot, but despite me having all of those negatives, the pros in my opinion still outweighs the cons because for me, the battle system is the main course meal for Storm games. If you're into the story mode more than the battle system, then you may feel a little different. For me, if the battle system is shitty, all hope is lost. Maybe it's different for you, but that's how it is for me. Story mode, adventure mode, all of that is just extra stuff for me. Battle system is where it's set. Now listen closely. The lifespan of this game will die so much fucking faster if they don't patch the spectating into this game. Revolution only survived because it had endless with spectating. Any game that gets boring after a while can be fun again when you're playing with your friends, especially when you're watching them and they're watching you in endless. Cutting down the online mode short like this really does reduce the replayability in online. Cutting the spectators out is like killing the community from the inside. Having spectating in a game brings the community together. All they have to do is put it back to how it was like in Generations and in Storm 3, and it will be perfect. Let us spectate in tournaments. Let us spectate in Endless with 8 players, please. It will make the online mode so much more fun. And if you're one of the people that don't like spectating, just leave. You have the option to move away from it. Right now, we have no option to spectate. None. Anyway, that's it for me. I am done with this video. If I were to give a rating for Naruto Storm 4 out of 10, it would be a 7 out of 10. Just barely hitting 7. Not a strong 7, but a 7. That just evolved from a 6. 
if this game came with the spectating, the 8 players and endless, a few minor bug fixes, this game would get an 8. If I were to compare this game to other Storm games, the battle system would be the best, but the story mode will fall short between Storm 3 and Generations, due to all the screenshots, so it loses a few points. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like. I'm sorry if I went in a rant there, but I had to, no choice, I'm not holding back. This is Shiggles Clouds, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and I will see you guys next time. E -E 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 -E.